it's time to get started on the floor. I'm going to put a layer of aluminum floor down, basically through here in between the seats and the box, and just to make it a bit more easier to walk. For the floor, I'll be using this sheet. I think, if I remember correctly, it's 065 aluminum sheet. And for in between all these cross braces, I plan on cutting pieces out of foam and I'll be using that. It's uh, expanded uh, polystyrene foam. So I'm going to cut that up into little squares, put it in between, and lay the aluminum over top. For cutting the styrofoam, I'm going to try this out. This is an uh, electric hot knife for cutting foam. And uh, presumably this heats up pretty hot, it cuts through the foam. Hopefully it doesn't make a whole lot of really toxic smoke, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I got this really cheap. I think it was on sale for like 20 bucks. My initial impression is that's probably the maximum that it's worth. It's incredibly cheap looking, but we'll see how it works. And if it doesn't work well enough, I'll just switch to a regular razor blade. So let's do a little test fire here. So it's got a temp, I presume this is a temperature control, and then it's got a trigger to turn it on. You know, I would have thought it would have just stayed on all the time. So anyway, I got it powered up. It's starting to smoke, so it's getting warm. Let's see how. Okay, well, actually that might work pretty well. I suspect it's going to get gummed up, but um, yeah, we'll give it a try. So far, not too bad. I can see why heated wire would probably work better. Like this definitely works, but it's quite thick, so you gotta melt quite a bit of star foam. So not too bad. I mean it's there's a bit of product loss just from the thickness. There's a bit of noxious fumes, but it does work. So the alternative of using a razor blade makes cleaner cuts, no fumes, and it's faster. So I guess that's it for the electric hot knife, at least for this application.
Here's the foam blocks for the spacers. So they look pretty good. I did have to profile these ones on the edges because the hull does taper up. So I basically just used the bandsaw and uh, cut a bevel into them. So next I'll cut the aluminum and uh, rivet it down in place. Okay, that was a polyurethane sealer that I used to basically just tack these foam plates down. But the foam is now done. It looks good. And I think it's going to be a good foundation. And uh, like I said, a little bit of flotation. And I'll put the aluminum sheet over top. This was a 4 by 8 sheet of aluminum. And I've trimmed it down to fit, basically just made a few notches where the seats are. And uh, had to decrease the width to 81 inches. So that covers most of the floor. I have another partial piece over there. I'll use that for these last few portions. And then I'll get it all riveted down. And so that's it, the floor is finished. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I've got it, I've got it riveted down all the way around. And it's just basically in the areas where anybody would be walking. So I think this will be easier to walk on than just having the exposed support braces in the dark or at night or something. This is probably gonna be, probably gonna be better. When I paint it, I will have to put some sort of uh, grip tape or maybe a textured paint, something to make it so that it won't get slippery when it's wet. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, obviously with the rivets fastening it down, it wouldn't be the easiest thing to pull back up. So I could if I really had to, but I really hope that the floor doesn't have to come back up at any point. The only reason I really would have to would be to redo all the poly on the bottom of the boat. And that's a task I don't really want to do anytime soon anyway. So hopefully this uh, floor stays down and basically never has to come back up. So now that the floor is done, that's one last thing. The next step is going to be building the cage for around the motor and the prop. Once I get that done, I'll be working on the fuel cell, get that finished. And then, like I said before, then the prop goes on and the boat um, goes outside and we start tuning. Thanks for watching.